Hey, it's Ben, and this is Drambo by Beeb Street, and this video is going to be about a, uh, well, two racks that have recently been um, uploaded to patch storage, Drambu FM Matrix and Drambu Matrix Empty, and these are both, um, they're based off of Nambu by Ice Gear, or Iceworks, uh, which if you haven't used, um, the thing that makes it really unique, it's an FM synthesizer. Um, instrument, but it's all based around this, um, like a matrix approach to mixing outputs and also the FM inputs. Um, so when you when you initialize a patch, you can hear the different layers in here. Um, you have your outputs down here, A through F, and there's FM operators on each output, and then you can also mix in your inputs for each layer uh, of synthesis that you have. So you mix in um, the inputs from the preceding layers. So on A, which is the first layer, there's no inputs. On F, you can mix in the inputs from um, the five preceding layers. So here we're just listening to F, and then we can listen to A. And... OK, that's great. And then if you wanted to mix in um, not A as an output, but A as an input to F. You'd come down from A, and then you'd find F. OK, mix it in. And that's when you hear the um, FM. Um, it's not just limited to FM synthesis. It also has regular like analog um, and noise and, and different kinds of things. Um, here, and even some processors, a resonator or a filter. Um, but this matrix approach is really cool. Um, and then pretty early on after Nambu was released, one of the other beta testers, um, Zhu Xing, uh, Zhu Jing, um, created something that was like a four operator um, analog to Nambu. It looked really nice. It kind of retained this half pyramid um, approach. And then later on, I said, well, I'd like to try and do something similar. Um, and I landed on eight different layers or eight operators. Um, so I'm just going to walk through the basics of how that how mind works um, and some different ways that you might um, play around with it and use it. So I'll, um, I'll remove Nambu. When you open um, the FM matrix, it's already loaded with eight um, layers of FM operators. And then there's a, a pitch ratio module and your input mixer. Um, and then at the end, Outside of the layer, you have a mixer to mix in the different layers. You can see there's eight layers, and they all are on the mixer. Um, the module itself is it's a rack. So this is the new Drambo racks where you can pre-configure inputs and outputs. Um, it's going to take an, an audio or a signal input, which we'll talk about later. Um, and then it also has a pitch, a gate, and a velocity. So you do need your MIDI to CV module. I could put the MIDI to CV in here. Um, I didn't do that for reasons. But um, when we open it up, we're just listening to eight, and it's a regular FM operator. Let's just do one voice for now. So regular FM operator, decay, attack, uh, feedback. Um, they will have their in FM index set to one, but there's no um, signal going through the inputs. So we could bring in another layer here, and you can hear that. Um, so we can't see the, the FM algorithm, but this is really at, um, additive synthesis. Right now we have two different layers. But if we actually want to use this as an FM um, setup, we can bring down our layer one from the output and then go to layer eight and slowly bring in layer one as an FM input to our operator. So we have that long decay of the of eight and then a really short clangy thing and then we can do like another one maybe so slightly longer. Um, 
And because it's Drambo, it's all modular, so we can add in um, all sorts of effects. Or we could even use other sound sources. Um, but like maybe we want a delayed um, FM signal to come in. So we'll do just like a quarter beat. This one. It's kind of fun. A little loud. Um, you could, of course, process this as well. So we could add like a filter or maybe a decimator. Who knows? That sounds kind of cool. So it's just, it's really quick to get places you wouldn't necessarily get um, definitely using just like a long a row of FM operators like in your Drambo rack. Um, and that was sort of the appeal of Nambu, I think, too. It's a, a visual approach to how all the sounds are interacting. Um, and then what was also really cool about Nambu is that they had different oscillator types, so it wasn't just FM. Um, and that is what the... Um, the empty rack is for. So this is for if you don't just want to be locked into FM synthesis and you want to try some more um, interesting things, or maybe you want to make use of the, the wavetable oscillators, which can do phase modulation. Um, that's what this is here for. So I'll show you just a couple ideas, um, and then you can go play with it. The Drambu matrix empty. <laughs> it's empty. It's really just a container. Um, and there's nothing magical going on here. It's just the like the visual organization and keeping things kind of nice and tidy and providing you like a mixer setup that's already ready to go. Um, so I'd recommend starting with like a, a bass sound on eight that you're then going to build onto or maybe modulate um, from that. So you'll see it says put um, sound sources or processors here. Um, each mixer input is coming from the preceding amp layer or amp module. So you can see there's an amp on each track. You can use that to boost the output of each layer or reduce it as needed. Um, but it's really here to give the mixer like a, a definite destination that you won't have to reset every time. So, um, and then here also the amp is going into the layer output and that's where the mixers are coming from. So let's put something here. Um, now, if we put any um, constant sound source, like an oscillator, it's going to keep sounding out. So we need our regular processor, amp, ADSR, or some other VCA, so we don't just have a constant sound. Um, so this would cause you to think a little bit more like regular modularly. So nothing super interesting here, but let's add another um, oscillator here as well, another wavetable, and I'll just do an ADSR. So we'll bring that in, and I'm going to do phase modulation with the wavetables. And this will sound very similar to um, FM synthesis, not exactly the same. But the wavetables are so fun. You can do so many different things. You have unison. Let's add a filter here, just at the end. And let's do something cool on seven. Let's do, um, to make it a little bit longer. You can use all of your wave effects. Maybe we do like a bit redux. So now it's kind of noisy. Now we could make this sustained. 
And here's where you might want the amp. You can turn it up a little bit louder. Push it beyond the mixers. Like, seven is maxed out here, but we can go louder for the amp. I mean, that's kind of interesting. So let's, let's play around with something not based off of oscillators, and you can see how you could maybe use this in a different way. Let's put an impulse on one. Just an impulse. Sounds like this. Not all that interesting. And then let's put a um, let's put a snare, like a sampler. Um, flexi. Let's go to snares. Sure. Okay, so it did nothing like really interesting here. On three, let's put a. Uh, let's do a, a waveguide. So we can do some like physical modeling with this. So we're not going to listen to the outputs of one and two. But we will send them here and we'll listen to three. So here we can sound how, um, or hear how a couple different sounds um, kind of interact when they go into our waveguide. And of course you can add in your, um, you know, your envelopes and all that fun stuff, LFOs. Any modulations, modulation sources that you have. Um, and that's why we have pitch on each, um, Clingy drum sound. Oops, I deleted our pitch. That's okay. And you know we have a couple more channels to fill out. So let's also play around with um, from one and two. Let's uh, add a FDN, which is like a different kind of delay. This is on six, so we'll bring up six. And it's a little bit like a lot of high frequency, so let's filter the input to that. And then we'll bring back three. If this like effect rings out too long, we can always add a... Uh, processor amp AD after it so we get the air but it doesn't ring out too long and control the resonance of the sound with the FM going into it um, might want to like disperse the It's kind of a nice little percussive sound there. Of course, we could have done it just in a long rack, but just having all the mixers there and being able to use different effects and, and seeing it, um, both our outputs and then our inputs, to me, it just makes it a little bit faster. Um, so I applaud Ice Gear Iceworks, the maker of Nambu, um, as well as um, Zhu Jing. I hope I'm getting that pronunciation um, kind of close. Um, they've done some really cool things, but that was one of my favorites. Just, um, you know, thinking about how to use this amazing tool, Drambo, to replicate a really complicated um, app in Nambu and then create that structure uh, that we can then kind of expand upon in a, a modular environment. Um, there's probably a lot of other cool things that you can do with this that I haven't thought of. I really haven't played around with it too much, but um, I've been antsy to get back to creating racks and, and sharing them and then um, hopefully doing some videos as well. So if you have any questions about this, um, just let me know. And of course, you can always post your questions on the Beep Street forums. Uh, make sure to check out all the cool things that are in patch storage um, and have fun with it.